What's going on all my pre-healthcare professionals? I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day. We're gonna continue on with our ATIT's question review series. And today we're gonna to be discussing text features and sources. Let's get started. Cost of Cologne, store one. Albany, New York is $130 per case of 10. Shipping and handling is $15 per case. Store two. Washington, D.C. is $120 per case of 10. Shipping and handling is $20 per case. Store three, New York, New York is $150 per case for 10. Shipping and handling is free for all orders. And store four, Hartford, Connecticut is $135 per case of 10. Shipping and handling is $15 per case, but is free with in-state shipping. A business owner from Connecticut is interested in purchasing 50 bottles of cologne to give as gifts to his employees this year. How much will he pay in total if he purchases a cologne from store four? Is it A, $650, B, $675, C, $690, or D, $750? And the correct answer is B, $675. Since the man is purchasing the cologne from the store in his home state, Connecticut, he does not have to pay any shipping charges. An order of five boxes of 10 bottles of cologne will be 135 times five, which comes out to a total of 675, making the correct answer B. Using the same example from before, a woman from New York is interested in stocking her store with 90 bottles of cologne. Which store would save her the most money? Is it A, store one, B, store two, C, store three, or D, store four? And the correct answer is B, store two. To obtain 90 bottles of cologne, the woman would have to order nine cases. Store two would provide the cases at the lowest cost, which is 140 per case, including shipping. Store one would charge $145 per case, including shipping, while store three and store four would both charge $150 per case, including shipping. And the last question in this example, if a person living in Albany is purchasing a case of cologne from store one and is considering picking up the case rather than having it shipped, which of the following would be the most accurate source to use to find the best route from the person's home to the store? Is it A, a world atlas, B, a phone call to the store to ask for directions, C, an internet-based navigation application, or D, the website for the Albany Post Office? And I don't know how we get by without it. The correct answer is C, an internet-based navigation application. The best source to use to find the distance between two locations would be the internet-based navigation system. Conference registration instructions. Time, Monday from 8.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Location is the Wellings Ballroom. The Society for Associated Technologies is pleased to welcome our guests for the 2015 annual conference in San Jose, California. Upon checking in, please settle into your room and enjoy a complimentary happy hour in the hotel's east deck. Cocktails and light appetizers will be served both Saturday and Sunday evening from 5 to 7 p.m. Conference registration begins promptly at 8.30 on Monday and will run until 10.30 a.m. To register for the conference, please bring your membership ID, card, and payment confirmation with you to the registration area. Members with ID numbers 10000 to 200000 should register to Table 1. Members with ID numbers 20001 to 30000 should register on Table 2. And members with ID numbers 30001 to 40000 should register at Table 3. Members without a membership ID or payment confirmation should register in the Skylark Ballroom, located just below the corridor of the Wellings Ballroom, on the south side of the hotel. If you have questions regarding your registration, please call Lanaya Ray's Registration Coordinator at 669-375-1700.
And which of the following tables should the member with ID number 39999 register? Is it A, table 1, B, table 2, C, table 3, or D, table 4? And the correct answer is C, table 3. The number 39999 falls between 30001 and 40000, so the member needs to register at table 3. At which of the following days and times should an attendance conference member sign up for the conference? Is it A, Monday morning, B, Monday evening, C, Thursday morning, or D, Saturday or Sunday evening? And the correct answer is A. The instructions specifically mention 8.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. on Monday morning as a designated conference sign-up time. While other times and days are also mentioned, they are not designated sign-up time for the conference. Which of the following features could help organize this information in this text? Is it A, an index card of all the ID numbers? B, a chart showing the ID numbers and corresponding table assignments? C, a list of all the rooms in the building where the conference is held? Or is it D, a photo of an IRAs, the registration coordinator? And the correct answer is B, a chart showing the ID numbers and corresponding table assignments. A chart showing these numbers would be very helpful to the registrants. And our last question, which of the following is a primary source document? Is it A, a handwritten letter from Thomas Jefferson to James Madison? B, an excerpt from a journal entry made by Meriwether Lewis that is reprinted into a book? C, a biography of Virginia Woolf? Or D, an index of articles that were written about quantum mechanics? And the correct answer is A, a handwritten letter from Thomas Jefferson to James Madison. I hope that these question review series are helpful in helping you pass the ATITs like a boss. Make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. And I highly recommend that you check out my website at nursechung.com where I have additional practice questions to help you get a little bit further in your studies. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering them. And until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.